guys, I'm going to make Home Chef's Lemon Parmesan Chicken Orzo. Um, for this recipe, it comes with, I have a um, mushroom zap for a different recipe. Um, it comes with chicken, obviously. With chicken. And cherry tomatoes. This looks like rosemary to me. Um, that looks like, I'm not really sure what that is. Oh, that's kale, I think. That's what it looks like. Um, I'm trying to guess these ingredients. Parmesan cheese. And some rice. Looks like brown rice, maybe. Lemon. What's in this bag? Let's see. This must be chicken broth, I'm thinking. Garlic. I think garlic comes in every single one of these. A shallot, an onion, and butter. Okay, so I'm gonna start cooking with this recipe, and this recipe um, looks pretty simple. Um, with Home Chef, you get a binder that you can put your recipes in, which is awesome. And so I got three new ones. This is the lemon parmesan chicken orzo. Um, so this is what you're going to need for this recipe. Olive oil, salt, pepper, cooking spray, a medium pot, a baking sheet, a large nonstick pan, and a wire mesh strainer. So it tells you to preheat your oven to 450 degrees, so that's what we'll do. Bring a medium pot of water to a boil, thoroughly rinse your produce. Prepare a baking sheet for, with foil and cooking spray. And then it says, oh, okay, so this isn't rosemary, it's actually thyme. So I was wrong with that. It's time. Okay. Um, and then the first step we're going to do is peel and mince the shallot, mince the garlic, zest in half the lemon, um, quarter half and juice remaining half, stem the thyme, and coarsely chop. And I don't even need to really, um, I have lemon zest actually in the fridge already, so I don't even really need to deal with that lemon. But anyway, stem and coarsely chop the kale. Um, Cut the cherry tomatoes in half, and then um, pat the chicken breast dry and season both sides with salt and pepper. So we're gonna do that first. So I chopped up the kale, and I minced the garlic, zested the lemon peel. I quartered the lemons, and there's lemon juice underneath there. Minced the shallot, and cut the cherry tomatoes in half. So now we're ready to pat the chicken dry and add the seasoning. Okay, so we seasoned both sides of the chicken breast with a pinch of salt and pepper. And now we are just going to add olive oil to our pan, just a teaspoon. And we're going to sear the chicken breasts on each side for about four to five minutes. So we're gonna take these chicken breasts This sounds so good with all these ingredients. Okay. So we're just gonna let this sit here for 45, four to five minutes on each side. So I seared the chicken on one side and seared side up. I put it in the oven at 450 degrees. And I did my toaster oven because my toaster oven seems to cook better than my regular oven does in my opinion. So we have to cook this for 10 to 12 minutes or bake it for 12, 10 to 12 minutes until it has an internal temperature of 145 degrees. So the chicken is done and I am supposed to let it rest for five or so minutes. And while that is resting, I am cooking up the orzo. And the orzo only needs to be cooked for, it says like five to seven minutes. So you want it al dente, you don't want it overcooked. So I'm gonna cook this and then I'm gonna strain it and um, while that is um, sitting on the side, I'm going to cook the vegetables. So it is um, nice and al dente. Um, they said to reserve three quarters of a cup of water from the cooked orzo, so that's what I did. Then it said to add your shallot and your garlic to a hot the hot pan that the chicken came out of. So you don't um, clean the pan, it says. It says to just... Um, leave it in the pan that it was the chicken was originally cooked in and cook four to six minutes um, and then after that 
Um, you're going to take the pasta cooking water, the chicken base, which is in that packet over there, and a teaspoon of lemon juice with half the thyme, and stir until incorporated into this mixture. So this is cooked about four to six minutes. It says to add the reserved cooking water, the chicken base. So here's the chicken base because I have it in my hand. I might as well just put it in here. Then the cooking water. And then it says one teaspoon of lemon juice and half the thyme. So I have the teaspoon of lemon juice right here. And let's see where the thyme is right here. I'm gonna pinch half this thyme and we're gonna put the thyme in. Put enough time in in this recipe, I think. Okay, so we're going to mix it up. It says raise the heat to high temperature. That's what we're going to do. And it says bring to a boil until liquid is reduced by half, which is three to five minutes. And then it says add kale and cooked until wilted for about two to three minutes. So we'll let this sit here for about three to five minutes until half this liquid is gone. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it says to leave the heat on high and cook this kale until wilted, which is about two to three minutes. So we're just going to cook this up just until it's wilted, not until it looks like cooked spinach. Then it says to add the orzo, the tomatoes, the parmesan, and the butter to the pan. And we're going to cook that um, just for a minute, not for long, because we don't want it to burn on the bottom. Mm -hmm, it's so colorful and pretty. Voila. There, there's my finished plate. Take the remaining thyme and lemon zest, put it on the chicken, plate it, and it's beautiful. So I will now taste this and see how it is. I'm sure it's delicious, but. Oh my God, that's delicious. Um, I would even mix in the chicken with that. I don't know, that's good. Four out of four recipes from Home Chef have been delicious. I suggest you try it. If you're interested in getting $30 off your first box, click on the link below. And you could be a cook even though you're not like me. Thanks for watching, guys.